Hey, what's up, guys? It's VST Tutorials, and today I'm going to be doing um, the synth from Dirty Bit by Black Eyed Peas. And I hadn't seen a tutorial for it up yet, so uh, I figured just put one up. Um, it's a fairly simple synth to make, and um, first I'm just going to show you an example of it, that way, so you get a fair idea of what it's going to sound like at the end. So let me just mute the mic and we'll get started. So that's what's going to end up turning out like. So let's actually get into making this in. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to initialize this that was so we have a clean combinator. Okay. So just start off with a combinator and in there I always like to open up with the line mixer. Just gives me a little bit more flexibility as far as levels and we'll start off with the Thor polysonic synthesizer and set the range to 12 just so we so you have a full octave and set the mode to mono legato and turn on the portamento and set that to 65 There we go. Now go to Show Programmer, and all three of these are going to be analog oscillators. So the first one, set the octave to 3, set the tune to negative 7. On all of these, they're going to be negative 7. And set the PW to 122. then open up another analog, turn it on, and this octave is going to stay at 4, and going to bring the PW to 82, I almost had it, okay. Then again, negative 7 tune. And this one we're going to bring the semi up to 7. Next, open, open up another analog oscillator. Set the PW all the way up to 127. Bring the octave to 3. And again, negative 7 tuning. Okay. Next, in the low pass ladder filter, um, set the frequency to 636. Alright. And set the res to 20. Right, then go to the envelope amount and set it to 100. Alright, then in the balance, in the mixer balance, set it to 90. And the third level bring all the way up to 0.0. .0. Okay. Next in the filter envelope, set the attack all the way down to zero where it is. Set the decay to five 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 two. Set the sustain up to nine 
9.9 okay then bring the release all the way down to 3.2 then in the amp envelope bring the attack all the way down to 0 set the decay to 423 and I believe you have to hold down shift yep and set the sustain to 15.5 or <clears throat> negative 15.5 and you'll have to hold down shift okay then again bring down the release all the way down to 3.2 okay next that's it for the synth itself let's see how it turns out now it sounds good for the most part but just to give it that full effect and to make it sound not as cheap, but still just keep the bare sound of it. Um, let's open up a different compressor. Let's open up the the I'm trying to find what it was called. Oh, the Comp Zero One compressor limiter. And I used this compressor instead of the um, M Class compressor because this seems to keep the fullness of it and it still like boosts the levels but it's not overwhelming but uh, whatever seems to work for you personally um, so keep the ratio at 64 bring the threshold up to 127 and bring the attack and release all the way down and this seems to boost the level sort of, sort of in a way acting like a limiter it still keeps it within the zero decibel limit but it still boosts all of the levels which I really like about this little compressor so next let's open up a unison filter and uh, keep the detune at 40 and bring the dry wet to 55 Okay, then open up a stereo imager. Set the low band to 20. And set the high to negative 16. Okay, next let's open up a BV512 digital vocoder and just so, so we can boost that slight mid frequency um, let's switch this to equalizer and bring it to 4 band and just boost uh, band 3 like band 2 and 3's levels just a little bit just very very slightly okay well that's about it for this synth like I said it's very very simple and now let's see how it turns out so there it seems a little bit more full now it seems to be a bit more stereo and it plays in the speakers a little bit more and it certainly seems a bit more processed now so that's again just about it for this tutorial um, if you have any questions comments or suggestions on any other synth that I should try to make um, leave a comment below and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe I'm making videos all the time so um, yeah just again thank you for watching and have a nice day